If you follow weather at all, you've probably heard your favorite meteorologist, uh, me perhaps, mention a few different type of fronts. There's warm fronts, occluded fronts. However, one of the most common type of fronts, that tends to be a cold front. And behind them, they can bring cooler and drier skies and very pleasant conditions. However, ahead of them, nasty weather and even thunderstorms and rain. And right here, right now in my kitchen, I'm gonna create a cold front and I want you to join along too. Just grab a few simple items here. You'll need water, blue and red food dye, an ice tray, and also a deep and clear baking dish. We'll first need to take the blue food coloring and mix it with this water here, and then we're gonna pour it throughout the ice trays to make blue ice cubes. So once we've poured this, we'll just take this tray, we're gonna pop it right into the freezer, and this will be our cold air. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we wanna bring in our atmosphere and that's gonna be this, the deep and clear baking dish that we have. And first what we're gonna do is add in our lukewarm water. What we're gonna do is add in the blue colder air. I'm gonna drop that right in there and let that sit for just a little bit. And so as you see, the blue on one side starting to dissipate Let's enhance this just a little bit. We'll add in some red food coloring on the other side, and this will serve as the warmer air, air with a higher dew point, air with more moisture as well. In fact, when you walk outside, you can feel this warm and moist, muggy air, especially during the summertime. So if you can see what's happening, the red air, it's more buoyant and it's more moist. So it wants to rise up to the top of the atmosphere. The blue, because of its density, it has a tendency to sink down towards the ground. You can think of density as almost uh, mass compared to the object's volume. And this is almost uh, heavy, if you will. This is amazing. The red goes right to the top. The blue, the colder air, because of its density, goes right down towards the ground, just like you see in the atmosphere. So the next time you hear, a cold front is coming. Think about this. It's just a collision of air masses, and you just made one in your own kitchen.